Hey guys, it's your girl Nurse B and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video, I want to talk about the elephant in the room. Let's discuss the elephant in the room. I know you know what I'm talking about. And if you don't know, you will know in a second. <laughs> so welcome. We're going to jump right into it. Today's video, I want to discuss the issue. What is the issue between nurses and CNAs? Like, the culture regarding nursing and CNAs it's terrible. I've come to realize that there are three reasons why nurses and CNAs do not get get along. There's three reasons. First one being communication. Communication between nurses and CNAs is very... It's non-existent. And I, don't, I think a lot of time nurses do not communicate with the CNAs and vice versa. I think communication has to come from both parties. And I also think that communication is key to gaining and earning respect from each other. I also think there is this attitude from certain nurses where I feel like because, you know, with doctors, sometimes doctors can come off as like jerks. So I think sometimes as nurses, we don't realize that that attitude that doctors tend to give us, we give it to the CNAs, which is not a good look. It's not a good look. There are a lot of nurses who who come in in the morning. They look at, hey, who's my CNA for the day? They actually go and give reports to the CNA. They come up with a game plan. While you have the other nurses who come in, and they're like, oh, my patient got a CNA? Great. Call the CNA for whatever they need. If the patient needs a bathroom CNA, don't call me. And that's the mentality that we have to really remove ourselves from. Delegate. But you want to delegate fairly. And I think that when you communicate, you're able to delegate, delegate more fairly. You're able to understand, okay, she has one patient with me, but then she also has three or four other nurses that she has patients with. So you have to be reasonable. You can't think that like, okay, every time my patient calls, this CNA has to go like drop what they're doing to run and help my patient, especially if I'm sitting at the computer on Facebook and doing nothing. And there are a lot of times nurses are on Facebook. They, they're not busy. Let's be, we're going to keep it funky. There are a lot of times nurses are not busy and yet they'll look you dead in the eye and be like, page the CNA. And then when you do page that CNA and the CNA is busy and then like they drop what they're doing to go and help that patient and they walk by that nurse's station and see that that nurse was on the internet and doing nothing. Trust me. <laughs> Trust and believe, I used to get my ass chewed. So that's what communication. Communication is important. Communication is key. You have to communicate. You have to delegate reasonable tasks. You know, you want to be fair. Teamwork. That's, that's another issue. There's no teamwork between nurses and CNAs. I think that... If nurses and CNAs came together and would work together collectively and like literally more can get done. You know, I think there are situations where a nurse doesn't like a CNA, a CNA doesn't like a nurse. They'll be like, well, I'm not going to do this for her. But in the end, it's really the patient that is suffering. So I think it's important that when you start your shift and you know you have a nurse's aid, it's important to not only give them report, but it's really important to see you, hey, what is your assignment like? This is what my assignment like. And you guys can really say, okay, at what point can we meet up to do this patient that we have together? And that's another way to show teamwork is showing, hey, I understand that you have another workload just like I have another workload. So when can we prioritize, meet together, do our patient, we both need to assess so that you can see, hey, what do you need to do with your ADLs and vice versa. So when you're able to come together through effective communication and also incorporate teamwork, I'm telling you, you're going to make both your lives like perfect <laughs> because you both are going to get your work done. It's a win-win situation for the both of you. But this is the this should have been the first one I talked about, and that is respect. I'm telling you, the lack of respect and respect. I, I'm not gonna say respect goes both ways. It really goes both ways. You know, I'm not gonna sit here and be like, well, nurses, da da da. But um, I'm gonna speak from what I used to experience. And when I tell you the lack of respect that I used to see with some of the nurses that I used to work with, um, in regards to in regards to the CNAs, it was it was pathetic. Because like 
if someone spoke to you the way you spoke to them it would have been an issue but because you're the nurse you think that it's okay to talk down to somebody which is never the case respect goes a long way i think in order to get respect you have to earn respect and i don't care if it's from from a janitor to a doctor you know what i mean everyone deserves respect and i don't care what you do as a career i don't care who you are um i'm not gonna disrespect you and and then <laughs> expect you to respect me because that's not how it works as nurses we get disrespected constantly from you know doctors and stuff like that so that's why when i see nurses doing it to cnas it pisses me off it pisses me off it upsets me because it's just like you know the same thing that you're complaining about you are doing it to somebody else and it's all about power it's all about let's be real it's all about a power trip you know what i mean um a doctor treats us the way they do because it's their they have authority and power you know we in turn go and treat cnas that way because you know we're the nurses we can delegate and we can do that you know they need to listen to us so this is why i think like okay if you're unhappy when a doctor does it to you, what gives you the right to do it to a CNA? Think about it. Uh, and I'm not just saying like, oh my God, the CNAs. CNAs do it too. They do it too. I know they do it too. But I think that we need to lead by example. You know, especially as nurses, um, I think we do need to lead by example. I think too, we have to understand that like, it's not easy being a nurse's aide. So with respect, I think that it goes both ways. And I think this is why a lot of times I'm able to see that like older CNAs and older nurses, they have a better relationship because like, I feel like older nurses really understand like, hey, I need to respect this individual. They are the ones who are gonna have my back. And I think a lot of new nurses come into the field like, hey, I'm that bitch. Not realizing that, no boo. A CNA can make your life miserable, okay? They can show you like, nah boo, I'm that bitch. <laughs> you know, so I think it's important to really understand the importance of respect. Just like you wouldn't go into a patient's room being disrespectful, you wouldn't go into a doctor's office being disrespectful. And I always tell people, put yourself in the position of the person that you're treating disrespectfully i really think that the culture regarding nurses and cna is something that has to change it's a culture that where we need to practice effective communication we need to practice the importance of teamwork and collaboration and most importantly we need to stress the importance of showing respect to our peers you know at the end of the day they are our co-workers you know they're here to help us they're here to like you know make our day go smoothly and vice versa so if we're being disrespectful if we are doing our part you know to make them feel a part of the team that's where everything's going to fall apart and honestly the person that ends up suffering is really our patients so this is why i always tell people like when you work with the cna make sure that you treat them the same way that you treat your patients because you will not go in the patient's room with an attitude you will not go in the patient's room like speaking to them all types of crazy so you should not feel okay doing that to your cna who is supposed to be your partner point blank period and vice versa a CNA should not be okay doing it to a nurse. So until next time, it's your girl Nurse Speed. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. More importantly, leave me down a comment below. Let me know what, what do you do to make sure that you and your CNAs are on the same page. Hey guys, it's your girl Nurse Beat and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video, I am going to talk about that. I'm going to address that elephant in the room. I'm going to address that elephant in the room, honey. The issue between nurses and CNA, honey. So grab yourself a glass of wine, honey, because the tip is piping hot, honey. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> 